Hey, Power Sequencer 1.3 is around the corner. Uh, we've been working on this one for a few months, improving our video editing workflow with Blender. This is the tool we use to edit every video at GD Quest. And so this one adds bug fixes, port to Blender 2.80, uh, which is what you are seeing on screen right now, and uh, workflow improvements. What did I say? Uh, bug fixes. Yeah, you get it. So this is a quick video to ask you to test it out so that we can release the final version. There are improvements such as uh, a lot of improvements to the consistency of the tools and now they better respect the workflow in Blender, especially the cut tool before control click on something that now respect Blender's uh, built-in, you know, vanilla Blender's user experience. So if you control click on either side of the time cursor, like it would by default, it's going to select all strips before and after the cursor. Alt click toggles selecting the handles on given strips. And now instead, the cut tools renamed to trim are set to the T key. So you can press T and click to trim something. It's going to start the trim where the mouse cursor is and end it where the mouse cursor lands. Now you can press the control key to snap to cuts, which you could not before. So this is an improvement and shift T and same, you can use the control key to trim and ripple edits. On the other improvements, you have things such as the uh, keyboard driven uh, editing controls like Control K or Alt K to trim either side of a selection. Now you don't even have to select to do that. It can work with the time cursor with the strips under it. So Alt K, Control K will use auto selection. And you can also use Control Shift K and Control Alt K, is it? No, Shift Alt K uh, to trim and ripple the edits at the same time. So you have lots of small tweaks like these that you won't necessarily uh, see, but that are quality of life improvements. We've made uh, dozens of these really. When you are in the sequencer to learn the features, to find them and to find, uh, whoops, I'll move that, to find the shortcuts associated to certain features, you have a power sequencer menu. And there you can see in the sub menus, you will find the shortcuts, you know, uh, for each of the features. So please give it a try, have some fun with Blender 2.8, which brings some important improvements to the sequencer as well. It still has uh, some, let's say, shortcomings or clunky areas, but it's much, much better. You can see the interface is a lot clearer. Tell me if you find any bug, you are more than welcome to head to the issues tab on GitHub, link in the description below. You create a new issue, you describe your bug, you can request improvements, all things like these. Also, uh, I'm looking for people to give me a hand to write the change log and update the docs for 1.3, write mini tutorials, help is much welcome. So if you are eager to do that, please uh, message me, leave a comment below, open an issue or reply to one of the issues. But with that, have fun. Uh, in one or two weeks, I'll release the final version and I've submitted it to Blender itself. Uh, I've written it in the RC release notes here. So if all goes well, from the next version of Blender, it should be included by default. Let's see, it still has to pass review, but that said, thank you kindly for watching. Be creative, have fun. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.